Hello again. It's been a couple of weeks, I think, since I last posted a video um, regarding the development of the ECAT and what's going on. I've been keeping abreast of the news and hasn't been a huge amount of new information recently, but um, a couple of points I thought I would talk about. There was actually a um, an interview published just today on... Uh, an Italian language website called uh, Crisi Globale, in which the uh, the host, I don't have his name here, uh, interviewed Andre Rossi. It's about a half an hour interview. Um, it's sort of just a, a lot of um, information on this um, interview has been published elsewhere. Uh, sort of Andre Rossi is sort of introducing his um, ECAT to a new audience is what it seems like the focus of the article is about. Um, but he brought up a couple of points that I thought were noteworthy. Um, yeah, now you have to remember that this um, was in Italian, so um, I'm not an Italian speaker, and so it would it takes some translating um, to understand what's going on. But uh, Rossi was talking about, he said that, they, you know, they're working very hard to, uh, he said they've worked, they're at a very advanced stage with their preparations for distribution. And he said that he thought it's possible that they could actually start delivering ECATs, pre-ordered ECATs, um, within this year. Um and actually, he mentioned within June or July of this year. So I followed up with a question about that on the Journal of Nuclear Physics today. And my question was this. Um, do I understand correctly that you are optimistic that you could start distributing products in the first half of 2025? And his answer was, I said that I hope that we will start the deliveries possibly within five to six months. So, you know, Rossi is an optimist. He's always optimistic about his work. Um, but anyway, I just thought that was quite interesting that they, I, I, it's sooner than I would have anticipated. But um, I thought, um, I guess it gives a little bit of an indication of where they might be in the process. Um, he has not mentioned yet where this factory is um, now the the commercial partner is um, has been named as quantum eversource um, they put a blog out this last week it was titled Andrea Rossi decades of determination and the birth of ecat technology which is just kind of a quick review of uh, Andrea Rossi's life and sort of emphasizing his uh, great perseverance in the development of the ECAT. Um, they don't really give a huge amount of information away here, but they say that um, uh, the ECAT's scalability and sustainability promise to redefine the energy landscape, accelerating the transition to a carbon-free future. Quantum Eversource, the global licensee of ECAT technology, will deliver these transformative products to the market. Potential users are invited to subscribe to our blog for updates and to be notified when pre-orders open, offering them the opportunity to witness this groundbreaking technology in, ac in action. Um, so they don't really put, um, they don't put a date on it, but uh, Rossi himself seems to think it's going to be quite soon. Um, another question that Rossi was asked about in the interview was about the safety certifications and um let me see if i can get a translated quote for you okay so rossi was asked about he uh, he was asked since there's been so much talk about this topic can you give us something about emissions or radiation I mean, are people worried about putting something in their homes that might be the first of its kind? And then Ross's reply is, 
Just to clarify, we've done safety certifications with a leading global certification company. So we already know the measurements because we do them ourselves in our lab. Anyway, it's certified that there is no, there are no radiation issues. We're talking about electromagnetic stuff here. So where we work, we always have the same readings and we never see any significant changes. Nothing that would really matter compared to what we call the background. The background is basically everything that's already there, like radiation from the sun. Then there's background that depends on where a person is, which can also vary based on the materials in the walls of the house or how close they are to other systems and so on. Right now, radiation levels are pretty low, just a few micro sieverts, which is negligible. We need to aim for levels in the millisievert range, which means we're talking about tens or hundreds of thousands of micro sieverts. So we are just at a few micro sieverts right now, which is basically a tiny fraction and completely safe. Plus, we've gotten other safety parameters certified, so the materials we plan to sell will be certified safe. Of course, we have to make sure all the necessary standards are met. And then he talks about um, a little bit about the box itself and says, basically, it's a very safe product unless you decide to open up the box. He says that um, uh, don't open it, don't break the seals. There are high voltage currents inside this box and so on. But if the box stays closed and isn't tampered with, there's no danger because it's just a plastic box. So I'd asked Rossi what his main, main focus was at this time. I said, what is the major focus of your work in these present days? And he said simply, the, in the industrialization of the SSM circuit, which is the, say, sorry, SSM stands for self-sustained mode circuit. So my guess is what he's talking about there is that they are just trying to perfect the production of the circuit which provides the SSM capabilities. As I've said before, Rossi has mainly, over, t over the last years, basically worked on prototypes. But I think there's probably additional refinement that needs to take place to make this a uh, an easy product to um, mass produce. So that's probably, I think that's what he's referring to there. Um, so apart from that, there's not a huge amount of new news regarding the ECAT. Um, I'm, I'm optimistic based on Ross's optimism, I think. You know, nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes except for him. And uh, I've always found him that uh, he's pretty straightforward when he talks about what he's been doing, um, what his work has involved. So I, I trust that he's, I don't think he's trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. He may be overly optimistic, which is his nature, but uh, I don't think it's going to be um, much different from what he's telling us here. Um, so I guess we'll just stay tuned. And hopefully somebody will get an ECAT this year. Thank you.